Good evening, everybody, and welcome to my how-to screencast. Today, I will be showing you how to utilize and navigate TED.com. So you might realize TED.com um, is for the TED Talks, and one thing that I see above, it says ideas worth spreading, and with the asterisks, it's and debating and criticizing and improving. This leads for many discussions on TED Talks for many individuals, and it allows us to see uh, and review um, different ideas that everybody has and how sometimes collaboration can make for better ideas. So I wanted to show you how to um, log on if you really needed to. Right now I am on, so I will click log out. You have the ability to log in with Facebook or log in with your email and a password. If you need to sign up, if you don't have a Facebook or don't want to connect with Facebook, you can click the sign up and then go to this page and enter your first name, last name, email, password, and you can sign up for daily TED Talk email or weekly digest emails. Then you'll create your account. You can view the terms of use and the privacy policy below if you would like. Since I have Facebook, I will um, just sign up with Facebook, and log in that way. That way, you will be able to have save talks, save playlist, favorite talks, favorite playlist, your settings, and your profile, and the ability to log out once you're done. So I will go through many of the tabs above just to show you how to get around the website to benefit you um, throughout your um, time viewing the TED Talks. So under the watch, you have the ability to see TED Talks, the playlists um, for different categories, the TED Ed, so you can watch, share, and create lessons with TED Education, and then surprise me, they will just send you whatever um, to whatever link, and TEDx Talks. Um, so this is from local organized events, um, typically in your area if you choose. So I'll show you um, the main TED Talks. And just beware, if you are utilizing this in a K-12 through setting, that you must always review um, the comments and the material of the TED Talk because you don't want to have your students seeing something that might be deemed inappropriate. Um, so you don't want to receive any backlash um, when you're doing this. So I apologize if anything on this page that you see might um, be something that could disturb you. So this is more so f for higher level students um, in the K through 12 setting and definitely for the college level and professionals out there. So I'll just click on one of the most viewed ones. Um, we can just do, do schools kill creativity. Um, you'll be given sent to this page where there's a discussion and you will be able to just play it right at the top. You can download it, rate it, watch later, add it to your favorites. And you'll notice that it starts here and you can just keep going through and find different things. There's a transcript. And with the transcript, you'll be able to read everything that's going on. And lastly, um, I would wanted to touch base on TEDx events. TEDx events, you can type in different areas and you can see what's going on. Um, as you can see, there's many things going on in the area and you can see if you can attend with the space available. And you have the ability to discover many different um, blogs and studies that are going on and learn about different conferences that are being held. And you can sign up for newsletters and last but not least, I just wanted to click on the surprise me to see what we'll do. And I'll do courageous with five minutes. And then you get this. So then you'll be able to view it. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this and have a good night.